There's an E on your calculator, right? Mm -hmm. It's right above your LN button. There's an E there. What's your R? 8%. Okay, 8%. So I'm going to put 8.8 .8 or 0 .08. 0 0.08. 0 0.08. Because you're going to translate that to a decimal. So up here, remember, it's in the exponent spot. You do 0 0.08 and T. Three. Three years. And that's being multiplied just like it was in the last formula you multiply the exponent. Okay. Listen carefully, this is one of those times where you got to do this exactly like I tell you, otherwise your numbers are going to come out wrong. You cannot round anything on this. You can't round anything. Otherwise you're going to be off by pennies and you're going to get fired. In, that, in, in real life, you actually get fired. In math class, you just fail the problem, okay? So this is a not getting fired type of problem. You don't want to get fired for screwing up interest. People get very serious about money. Have you noticed that? Yes. <laughs> if you screw up with dollars, they're going to get really pissed at you. Uh, so don't screw this up. Here's how you do this on your calculator. You start with your exponents and you work your way to the left. So take 0 .08, multiply by the years, 3 in this case. Press enter. You should get something like 0 .24. Okay, either write down 0 .24 or if you, if you have, don't round it though, you have to write down exactly what you get in this, in this problem. Or leave it, but leave it on your calculator screen. Okay, write it down in case it, you screw something up, that way you, at least you have it. Now you're going to take E, do not multiply by 1200 yet, take E to the 2.24. Here's how you do that. On your calculator, some of you, if you, if you have the 0.24, just press the shift button or the second button and press LN. That's going to give you the E to the X. Now, if it didn't do it automatically, if it now has an E with that little arrow or E with that parentheses right there, that's where you have to plug in 0.24, that's why you wrote it down, or you press the answer button. You might have an answer button somewhere. You have to press shift and then find your A and S button. That will plug it in automatically for you. In either case, you press enter right now. And you'll probably get one point something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, leave that on screen. Now, without rounding it, multiply by 1200. And tell me what you have. 1525.1 Oh, you won't round. Mm -hmm. okay. 1525.1 okay. 1 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, So here's what's going to happen. You're going to come to me and go, Mr. Leonard, float me alone, man. I go, no problem. I'm going to give you 1200 bucks In three years, you give me back $1,525.50. No payments until then. Would you do it? Well, if you needed the money, you might. If you really needed it. By the way, I don't have any money to loan, so don't come ask me. But if I did, that's the loan I would give you. I know, I'd probably give you 20% for three years. <laughs> I'm a jerk and I want money. Uh, anyway, that's, that's, that's how you figure out your continuously compounded interest. It, again, if I did daily, weekly, monthly, anything else, you'd use the different formula. It will be slightly less. This is the most interest you can accrue is continuously compounded. Is it much different than daily? No, 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 no. It's not diff hardly different at all. Uh, there's not a whole lot of change. We found out when we talked about interest that the compounds really aren't what affects your interest. What affects the interest you owe is the years. But most importantly, the rate. That's going to affect your interest the most. How many people feel okay with this continuously compounded idea? Good. Again, if you need help with the calculator, you're going to have to come and figure that out. Come and see me. I'll, I'll show you how to do that. Now, the last thing that we're going to do, we got about five minutes left. We're going to talk about how to change bases on any logarithm. We're going to talk about how to change bases on any logarithm. Three minutes left. Okay, change of base is a very, very easy formula. Uh, what this allows you to do is to change between any logarithm of any base into a base that you want to work with. Now, why would you do this? Well, if I ask you this question, can you plug in log base 7 of 5 on your calculator? You're going to go, no. Can you plug in log base 10 of 5? Uh -huh. So we can be able to change the logarithms. Or ln of 5, you can change to that. Here's what the change of base formula looks like. It's log base b of a 
So any logarithm can be changed into two other logarithms. You're going to see why I was so focused on, on doing the properties and making sure you understood what you can and can't do because this is going to look similar to, uh, to those. Log base B of A, which letters on the top going horizontally, A or B? A. A. So you go, this is equal to log of A over log of B. Log of A goes on top, log of B goes on bottom. So this is how you change from a log of any base that you have into a log base. What's this space? What's this space? Ten. You could do that. The base here would be 10 and 10. Does that make sense to you? You could also change to LN if you want. Uh, you're probably not going to choose to change to, to something like log base 8. I mean, you can't really work with that that well. So it's either this one or this. Either one of these two things. And you know what? They're going to work out exactly the same. So let's go ahead and we'll just do one very quick example. Let's do log base 7 of 5. We're going to change that to a common log and approximate. Log base 7 of 5. Here's how you change your bases. We go, okay, what's going to be on the top of our, our fraction over here? Log of 5. What base is that? This is This now is log base 10. Does that make sense? What's this going to be down here? Log 7. Log 7. Log base 10 of 7. So we've just changed a log base 7 into a log base 10 over a log base 10. You with me on this? Now, can you manipulate this in any way? The answer is no. No, that looks nothing like any of those properties I taught you. The only thing that you can do here is approximate this. Can you find log of 5 on your calculator? Can you find log of 7 on your calculator? Can you? So what you would do here, find it to the fourth decimal place, find it to the fourth decimal place, and then divide those two numbers. You're going to have to round. Okay, that's fine. You're going to have to round with this. That's why it's called an approximation. So you find log base 5, whatever that is. Find log, I'm oh, sorry, not log base 5. Find log of 5, find log of 7, and then solve the problem. You guys okay with the change of base? By the way, if they ask you for a natural log instead of a common log, look at this is the only thing you have to do. This is going to work out, that if you don't trust me, do it on your own later. This is going to work out exactly the same. If you want to change log into another base, such as a base of E, that's going to be identical. Can you find ln of 5 on your calculator? Can you find ln of 7 on your calculator? Plug those two things in, figure out this number, this number, then divide them. You're going to have your answer on that. Which I can do that for you real quick so you see if you're right. Yeah. Can I borrow your calculator? If you did the log, check it out, see if we're, if we're right on this. So I'm going to do ln of 5, and I'm going to get 1.6094. Like that. Did you get the same thing? No. You get ln of 7, and I get 1.9459, approximately. And then I would divide them. I'd say 1.6094 divided by 1.9. 459, and I get about 0.8271. About 0.8271 after you divide them. That's how you change base and approximate this thing. This is that answer. If you did it with logarithms, it will work out identically. You're going to get exactly the same relationship once you divide that. Which ratio have today made sense for you? Good. So common logs, natural logs, and solving those logarithms along with a couple, a couple examples.